Hello! This video tutorial shows how to set up side chaining in your project. This video will present an overview of side chaining and show you how to set it up in your project in three steps. Side chaining consists of monitoring the level of an audio signal and using it to manipulate another audio signal. A concrete example of side chaining occurs in radio broadcasting where a DJ's voice automatically ducks the music volume. In music production, side chaining is often used to control the energy in the low end of the frequency spectrum when the bass drum quickly ducks the bass volume. For games, side chaining is a great tool for controlling the player's focus and for reducing cacophony. It also helps to prioritize and clean the mix for objects within the same categories. In practical terms, when transients from important sounds are played, Side chaining reduces the volume of less important sounds by following the transient shapes. This image shows how the sound on the left drives the volume, represented by the red curve, of the sound to the right. This is how side chaining works. It monitors the level of a signal to drive the gain reduction of another signal. It's easy to set up side chaining in WISE using real time parameter control curves and the WISE meter effect introduced in WISE 2010.2. The following example demonstrates how signals going through the critical dialog audio bus will automatically compress the volume of the non critical dialog audio bus in a three step operation. The first step consists of creating a game parameter that we will name critical dialog volume and setting a range from minus 48 to 0, which represents a plausible dynamic range for a game. This game parameter will operate as a communication channel between the buses. The second step consists of inserting the wise meter effect on the bus whose audibility we want to ensure. In this example, the meter effect is inserted on the critical dialog bus. The WISE meter effect monitors the input audio signal. When the effect is used for side chaining, the mode, attack, hold and release parameters are used to slow down the response speed of the output signal and to send smooth values to a game parameter, in this case to critical dialog volume. The third and final step consists of creating an RTPC curve on the bus to be attenuated, the non-critical dialog bus. In this example, the bus volume is attached to the critical dialog volume game parameter and the attenuation curve is created. The x-axis represents the calculated RMS signal from the wise meter effect and the y-axis represents how much the volume of the non-critical dialog audio bus will be attenuated. A good way to fine-tune the side chaining settings is to put both types of dialog in the soundcaster and open up the WISE meter effect and the RTPC views. To see the WISE meter in action, start a capture. Hey, cut it! I need bullets! We're getting roughed up by a bomb in the street! I'm hot stuff! It seems to me We're like I'm gonna kill you! Now. Who wants a spanking? It's time to die! The bomb is under control. Quit it! I need bullets! I'm gonna die! taking the bomb apart now! Hot stuff! It seems to me like Damn I'm it, gonna... we're getting hit! Who wants the gang's got us pinned down in the street! It's time to die! It is also possible to build a higher key of side chaining. The following diagram shows an example of a higher key of side chaining that would make sense for a first-person shooter game, for example. Since the WISE meter effect feeds a generic game parameter, any property that can be attached to an RTPC can be driven by side chaining. For example, side chaining can ride the gain of an EQ band to notch a certain frequency band. Other examples include driving the threshold value of a compressor effect, modifying the LFO frequency of a flanger effect, or amplifying the distortion intensity of the Futzbox lo fi effect. That's it. You now know how to set up side chaining in WISE. For further information about the plugin, refer to the WISE meter effect section of the help. You can also read the text version of the side chaining tutorial on our website.